Hello again. So we're going to uh, do a new project today. I'm actually going to try some things that I've never have done before. So we'll see how it turns out. I'm going to be using my Canson uh, watercolor paper again, 140 pounds, cold press. A very pre-cut piece that I'm going to be needing. What we're going to do is um, blend some colors. And here's the colors I've picked out we're going to be using for the background. Um, barn door. Ripe persimmon. Mustard seed. Picked raspberry. Broken china and seedless preserves. I absolutely love these distressed inks. You can watercolor with them, you can blend, they blend so well. So the idea is, um, the reason I wouldn't cut this down is here in a minute, uh, we're going to emboss this and so I can know my working area. Um, so let's get my craft sheet out here. And the reason why I like buying these little um, stamps and um, pads is because I like keeping the blenders in the backs. They fit in there perfectly. And I buy the re the reinker bottles and I just add ink to them. So that's what works best for me. So as I blend all these, I'm going to probably speed this up a little bit so it doesn't take so long. Okay, so as you can see here, I actually ended up adding some Ever Green Burrow. Um, I really can tell there's really not much difference from the Broken China, but um, just want to add another color and I decided that at the last minute. So now we're going to let it dry real well, and we're going to try to emboss, and the technique I'm going to try, um, I've never tried it, I'm sure others have, is layering, layering the embossing powder. So we'll see how it turns out here in a minute. Okay, so now we're going to um, use our die here to cut this out. Get your cuddle bug or whatever embossing machine you use. So here's my A plate, my magnetic um, pad, B plate, my paper. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. And then lay this over top. Sandwich them together. And run them through the machine. The popping and cracking noises is normal. 
when you're embossing. Now when I first started, I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I break? But then I looked it up and they say it's normal. What it's doing, I guess, is it's just it's cutting into the plates. And that's what the popping and cracking is. And there we have it. Turned out nice. All right. So what we're going to do here now, hopefully it's dry enough, I think it is. Is I'm going to try for the first time ever to emboss, I mean, layer embossing. Um, I'm going to get my stamp perfect tool out here to help. And let's see. I got this from uh, the Tim Holtz. It says the journey is never truly over. It just changes courses. Course, sorry. So let's try to get this centered. Shouldn't mess with it too much. Okay. Pick this up, and I was afraid of that. <laughs> so now we're going to redo this all over again. <laughs> Okay, so I like using this um, anti-static pad for embossing just to be sure that it's not going to, this embossing powder is not going to stick anywhere but where the embossing ink is. Okay, yeah. I'm going to ink it up really good. It's going to be pretty quick about this. I'm going to give it one more. A little quick inking. Okay. Use black. Okay, we'll take a little brush here to clean those sides up. Dump the excess back in. Just be very careful. 
think it still had some moisture in it. Looks like a couple of E's here. Now we're going to heat and boss this. Get it warm up here. You'll see it change to uh, shiny. Alrighty, there we go. And as you can see, eat it. Okay, so now what I'm going to try to do is repeat the process again, which is even more difficult now since it's a little warped. I'm going to use this holographic on top of it. So pull your stamp. Let's clean it off a little bit here. Almost forgot, I gotta realign it. So we'll try to realign the words again. One more time. And remove it. Shake. And 
and then re-emboss again. This time it'll just turn clear shiny. And there you go, it's holographic. I think it turned out pretty cool. I'm shocked it worked so well. So, now we're gonna move on to mounting it onto a card base and add a, adding a sentiment in the side of it. Okay, so I've actually decided to add some more to the front here before we um, move on to the inside. Um, so I'm going to add some of these um, inspirational sayings and add some, I'm using an OPEC white um, silo pen, I think that's like this, signal pen. And I'll put a link in the description if I can find it on Amazon. I'm pretty sure that's where I bought it. But just adding some dots here. Okay, so now I'm going to add to our sentiments here on the outside. And Didn't it quite that follow your dreams straight, but oh well. I still like it. Now we'll move on to adhering this onto a card base and then working for the inside sentiment. Okay, so here's my card base.
to put quite a bit on there since this is kind of crinkled up. Now we got to get. Sorry, I'm bumping you guys there. Got to get it centered, which is never easy. So there's the front. And I really like this because with double layering it too, it makes it really stick out. Pretty cool. Now we'll work on for the inside. Let's get our stamp perfect again. I chose um, always know in your heart that you are far bigger than anything that can ever happen to you. I figure this is a pretty cool, um, you know, uplifting card. Oops, you almost did it upside down. That's why you always want to check. Might add these to the top and bottom. This one says, Life's an amazing adventure. Enjoy the journey. So, this would be a good card for anybody that you might know that's going through something in their life, you know, and just give them some uplifting words. Let them know that you're just thinking about them. All right, there we go. So I think it's a good card, like I said, to send to somebody you know might be going through something that's, you know, maybe not easy for them, going, you know, having a hard time maybe in college or um, having to make a tough life decision. So once again, thank you guys for watching and joining me. And uh, as always, um, like and subscribe to my channel and share it across uh, your social media if you would and i'll see you in the next video thanks bye